Hi, welcome back. We are continuing the process of installing Moodle locally for development purposes. And we have completed uh, creating the data directory. So if I go to the Finder, come on, Finder. Where are you? All right, well, sorry about that. It was working. Here, let's uh, go to map and uh, find out where uh, files are pointing to. Okay, so here we here we have um, the uh, folder called Buddha data. There's nothing in it, and if I go to uh, the server, the local host, I can see there's Moodle data, and there's nothing in it as well not quite sure why it hung up there for a second so let's follow the next steps the next step is to install the Moodle code so we're going to basically install move uh, this folder which has everything um, everything that we downloaded from that zip file and I'm gonna move it over here Ooh, that was hard Let's go back to localhost, and we can see it's refreshed. And go inside there, and just made a big mistake. It's trying to run the installation script. So let's not do that yet. But obviously, it looks like something is kind of working. Okay, now I do want to just uh, bring up this point uh, in the documentation. It says some stuff about the permissions. It says here, check the permissions and make sure that the web server does not have permissions to write to any of the files in the Moodle code directories. So, you will probably need to uh, take a look at that. Um, if you know we are just running this locally so we're not going to worry too much about permissions but if you were going to install this on a live site I cannot stress um, enough that you want to make sure that you follow these instructions to the letter about permissions again we're not covering that here we are just trying to install a local copy of Moodle so we can do things like um, you know make plugins uh, edit themes uh, that kind of stuff. Okay, that's pretty much it. So we've obviously got Moodle, you know, to the point where it's it's ready to install. Uh, the next step is going to be the configuration. So obviously we have something that we need to do before we actually run the installation pro uh, process. We'll do that in the next movie. Thanks for watching.